Americans traditionally think of Valley Forge, think of George Washington in a harsh winter. But what many students overlook is the different nationalities that took part in the war. James McMichaels, a Scottish immigrant, joined the Pennsylvania Regiment and kept a diary at his time at Valley Forge. It was from this diary that we learned what much of the daily life was like during the war. And I bet that's how we know about Peter Francisco of Portugal. Okay, these are the log cabins that the soldiers lived in during the winter. And uh, the soldiers were given specific instructions. When Americans traditionally think of Valley Forge, think of George Washington in a harsh winter. But what many students overlook is the different nationalities that took part in the war. James McMichaels, a Scottish immigrant, joined the Pennsylvania Regiment and kept a diary at his time at Valley Forge. It was from this diary that we learned what much of the daily life was like during the war. And I bet that's how we know about Peter Francisco of Portugal. Okay, these are the log cabins that the soldiers lived in during the winter. And uh, the soldiers were given specific instructions to build these log cabins. But due to the diversity of the soldiers, much like our group, everybody built it in their own specific way. The reason for the Americans choosing Valley Forge as its winter settlement for the Revolutionary War is because of its high viewpoint and its close proximity to the city of Philadelphia, which the British had recently occupied. In fact, this area right here was the outer edge of the camp. This cannon here protection and watching over the field. In fact, this cannon actually reminds me of the story of Peter Francisco. Peter Francisco was once a 10-year-old boy who was abandoned by his parents in Virginia. And then Patrick Honey's uncle actually took him up and treated him as his own son. This young boy later grew to be 6'6", six 260 pounds, and from Portugal, and later was shot four times in battle. In fact, there's even a story of this 260 Portugal man, They're actually moving this cannon from the spot and then moving it so the British could not capture it from the American forces. Francisco must have been a beast of a man uh. to pick this cannon up. We're at the outer edge of the park. Structures like this were used to signal other parts of the regiment in case of a British advance. What most people do not realize is that Valley Forge was around 10 miles in radius and it was a very big park. This is the courting grounds for the soldiers. Over there we have the training grounds for the army. Von Steuben, a German, is, was the head of the army and whipped them into shape. February 6th, the French Alliance Treaty was signed, introducing French to the uh, Revolutionary War. On February 23rd, General von Steuben was introduced to the Valley Forge military camp to train the soldiers. Von Steuben was a lifelong soldier and was a good German general to help train and organize the American soldiers. This is out here overlooking where his statue is overlooking represents the battlefield, the fields where the revolutionaries were trained by von Steuben. back to Rhode Island and he brought the African American soldiers back to Valley Forge to train with the other American soldiers in that field over there. 
This is the house where George Washington stayed during his time here at Valley Forge. In this house are also many meetings between George Washington and his foreign generals, such as the Frenchman, the Marquis de Lafayette, who helped him at the Battle of Brandywine, and Van Steuben, who helped him with the soldiers back in the shape. This statue here is actually a replica of the one that stands in Virginia of General George Washington. As you can see here, these bundle of sticks are actually 13 of them, which represents the 13 colonies that George Washington united. You can also see that George Washington always wore his general clothes out of public, but always had a civilian cane with him instead of a sword. Much of what we learn about Valley Forge was documented by the Scottish Navy. The soldiers were Portuguese. Next was a German named Von Steuben who helped train the soldiers for the revolution. Who was sent here by the French. And even those of African descent joined the Continental Army and wintered over here in Valley Forge. Marquis de Lafayette was a French general who helped George Washington at the Battle of Brandywine. At Valley Forge, he was one of the generals who met in George Washington's house to discuss plans for the next battle. Baron von Steuben was a German general who trained the American soldiers and was brought over by the French. Peter Francisco was a Portuguese soldier who camped with the American forces at Valley Forge. General Varnum recruited African-American soldiers to join the revolutionary fight. 